beginning to turn. Nigeria, on the West African coast, stands as a bulwark of independence in sub-Saharan Africa, once known as the Dark Continent. We now know that such a phrase described our lack of knowledge of this land, rather than the land itself. For millennia, Nigeria was no more than a conglomeration of tribes, some containing millions of people, others so tiny that their names have scarcely been recorded. There may be as many as 300 languages spoken. At least 12 of them are official. To create order from this myriad variety, Nigeria has been organized into three quite different regions. Like all young nations, Nigeria must draw the different social, governmental, and religious customs together and cement the bonds of federation. Nigeria is the balance wheel of the world's presently uncommitted nations. Its steps toward unity are vital to the world. Nigeria is larger than any European country except Russia. The population is greater than that of any other African nation. Many remote areas are readily accessible only by air. Aviation knits the remote parts of the nation together and at the same time opens Nigeria to the world. Kano, an ancient city in the arid northern region, is linked by air with Mediterranean, Eastern and Southern Africa, as well as with the rest of Nigeria. A century ago, caravans entered other gateways to Kano, having traveled from Tripoli for 11 months across the Sahara. Small caravans still arrive and leave every few days. Within encircling walls of sun-dried brick, Kano's market stands, the heart of a thriving city that was great long before Europeans heard a whisper of its name. Cloth dyed with indigo has been an export from Kano as long as craftsmen can remember. Pounding the indigo into the cloth secures the color, one of the few fast colors ever discovered. The great mosque is the dominating influence on the people of this city. Islam wields the guiding force over education in Kano and in most of the savanna lands and parched plateaus of the northern region. The north is by far the largest region of Nigeria. The population centers around historic and modern Kano and along the Niger and Benue rivers in the south. This river system is navigable from the sea, a boast that can be made for no other great African river. It provides transportation, food, and a livelihood for many fishing communities. Fishermen still use traditional methods in the very shadow of the great modern bridges that span these rivers. Farther north, herdsmen spend their lives at another occupation learned from their ancestors. Fulani nomads and their herds fill even the remotest and most inhospitable corners of Nigeria. Yet, every year, modern research and medicine advance to meet them. Most buildings in northern Nigeria contrast with this veterinary center. The people build of mud and brick and thatch with grass. In villages tightly knit together, the staple foods are grains, millet, sorghum, and maize. 
they thresh the grains in mortars, grind it into flour, and cook it into a thick porridge. Great work and skill goes into the preparation of meals. Great pleasure into eating them. While there is no food shortage in Africa, there are vitamin or protein deficiencies in some areas. Modern technology and chemistry now work to supplement the Nigerian diet. Traditional methods of work, such as hand spinning, go on within walking distance of the most modern. This mineral has been mined on the Bauchi Plateau for more than 50 years. New surface mining methods are being developed and tested. Chemical sprays developed by African research have come to the aid of agricultural exports. Great pyramids of grain and peanuts are protected from pests and disease until they can be shipped. Despite the many changes in outlook and habit, much has not changed. Islam, with its colorful dress, ceremony, music and dancing, binds people of the north together. All this will persist shoulder to shoulder with advancing technology. Honoring the Emir of Kano, who is both political and religious leader, brings the hard-working people of the Northern Plateau together. Today, Muslim prayer unites this old city. So old, it was a bustling trade center at the time of the Norman conquest of England. Pagan ceremonies from the pre-Islamic days are still performed within sight of the spires of the mosque. This arid, Muslim-centered northern region is the largest area of Nigeria. Further south, the rainfall becomes greater, and with it, greater dependence on water for travel and power. The ocean port and the Niger River make trade with the eastern region a simple matter today. <laughs> 